Welcome to episode two of the Blizzard Buddies! Last episode I went a bit out of my way to complete Dragon Slayer early, so now we gotta go back and make some more general progress. Dude, all these group irons. Holy. <laughs> we knew it was gonna be like this. Let's see how many levels you got. One to sixteen. Got ninety-one points. Got to 24 necromancy of the ghost trolls to complete the easy um tasks. The book is a great utility item, so even though necromancy is not playing much in my early game progress, getting the book out of the way really early is going to be good to start accumulating ashes for later. Oh, there we go. Yeah. With the total levels for the tier 3 journey achievement out of the way, let's knock out a bunch of quests. Here we go. Murder mystery. Merlin's crystal. Holy grail. Stolen Hearts, Diamond in the Rough, Jack of Spades, Tourist Trap, Eclaren's Little Helper, Grand Tree, Once Upon a Slime, Tribal Totem, Jungle Potion, Recruitment Drive, and Dig Site. Oof, early game Iron Man, am I right? The Rune Sphere just spawned in the lowest level and just happens to be one that I can siphon. Wow, that's, that's kind of lucky, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. You just advance 14 rune crafting levels from turning in that stuff with a rune sphere rune sphere. That's that is overpowered, but so nice. Everyone else went to bed, like they're gonna wake up and I'm gonna be at 50 rune crafting for Vizwax already. And there is 50 rune crafting, which is big for the team. Means we can get Vizwax and get these quick teleport charges finally. It's the morning of day two, and we all decided to check our beehives at the same time, I guess. So we just get this huge spam of farming levels. From 22 to 33 farming, just like that. Here come some more quest completions to get done while their XP rewards are relevant. Plague City. Biohazard. Observatory Quest. Another Cook's Quest. Druidic Ritual. Elemental Workshop 1 and Elemental Workshop 2 Fishing Contest in Shiloh Village. Got another 250k from May, which I spent immediately on finishing new foundations. The weekly reset was quickly approaching, and I wanted to take full advantage of Tears of Guthics, so I got 49 fire making, thinking that was the only requirement for the quest, but it turns out you need a bullseye lantern, which you need 49 crafting to make. Although I later realized I could could have gotten a lantern from the Lorehound pet, but anyway, here's 49 crafting. Completed the quest and the weekly. The XP went into archaeology, which means I can skip some of those pesky low levels in that skill. Also made sure to do Herbie Werby before and after the weekly reset, and got my Anachronia base started while I was there. Ant was speeding through the magic levels, and he needed some tier 40 mage weapons, but he didn't have the crafting and rune crafting for the split bark wand and orb, which I didn't even know existed, so I was able to make some for him, trade it over, and teamwork makes the dream work. Completed Demon Slayer, The Golem, Shadow of the Storm, and Evil Dave's portion of the Recipe for Disaster, basically just to get to Evil Dave's big day out, since that quest gives some absolutely bonkers XP rewards, and it skips a bunch of painful magic levels. Okay, so 10 magic levels, 6 agility levels, 6 herbal or levels, and 8 cooking levels. Damn. That's what we like to see right there. At this point, we all decided to do Monkey Madness at the same time, on the same world, which led to some interesting shenanigans. What combat style did you say you were going to do accident? You were going to do some safe stuff? Like tier 30? Yeah. I probably got to copy you because I'm on tier 30s as well. Let's go. Oh. You, you can click between the lines and it'll run you out of the puzzle. Oh, the interface. Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had that issue too. Yo, we're all here on the island. Very yeah. cool. All right. Let's go. All right, let's see how hard this hits with that prey range. Oh, they hit. They only hit 200s. <laughs> okay, down to 800 HP. <laughs> Did not make it. <laughs> oh, terrible timing. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, yes. he goes through the door, but he punches me. Oh, okay, I'm out. <laughs> I'm free. I just want to stay and watch. Jesus. How are two of them out? They can do that. 
it just stuck. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> you can't oh, search you through. Can't search through <laughs> no, I thought you could search through them. <laughs> you can't stay by the walls, or else they're gonna punch oh, you yeah. all the way back in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there two, though? What the heck? Yeah, they're both out. They're not supposed to both be out. I think we broke. Like half my food. He got a hop. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a penguin in this world right in their little nook. I got out. Thank God. Who's gonna Who's gonna risk it for the penguin? Oh yeah, don't you don't you have infinite run energy with sure-footed? You really? Yeah. That'll make this dungeon a lot easier. All right, boys, we get to round two of the prison. Oh, I forgot to, uh, oh, I forgot to uh, make the uh, the amulet. Oh, you have to do that on a patrol, all right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Scared me there. I was rereading the section. Yeah, I was rereading it as you said that. I'm like, I, I skipped it. I skipped the one section. I'm speed reading. Ooh, come here. The it's penguin. The you, temple, the we. You can get the penguin uh, from the jail cell <laughs> now. The archers only hit me for like 80 this time instead of 3,000. No! Oh, I, I thought I searched into that box. <laughs> he punched you and he still made it through? Huh? Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, um... Uh-oh. Yo, did you, like, summon the ninja monkey? <laughs> no! You... <laughs> She's coming out! Get back! That was close. <laughs> I got the chat options off. On the island. Oh, hold on. What is... <laughs> Okay, there it is. There we go. All right, back to the tunnels. Wait, the guard? What? The guard went on the. What? I saw that. Oh my god, it got me too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what? I'm just gonna bank. I saw that surge. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, these gnomes do like no damage. <laughs> <laughs> like Lark, literally. Oh no, this is not good, boys. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try to fight it head on. I thought you could safe spot him like across the bridge, but that's not working how I thought. Oh my gosh! Even with the Renegade, it's 25% accuracy. I'm getting smitten. I'm at 44. I'm at 50% accuracy. I'm at 34%. Dude, I might actually be cooked. Omni for drops. Um, uh, I need to. I'm definitely gonna need to whip out better food. I'm surprised it's instanced. Right, old school is completely different. Yeah, I'm, I must have updated that. Well, I can actually do Dragon Slayer now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to clean those lamps, huh? Bro, they're not doing anything. <laughs> you're, you're I still... see like nine, six, five. <laughs> they max it a 10, is Ooh. what I read. Bro, do you realize how long that would take if you're really going to do that? Probably you can do it to like take a break a little bit, like get 100 Adren, go uh, regenerate if you need it, and then come back and do a little bit of damage. That's what I'm going to do here, I think. I feel like... It definitely helped. I, I let them do like 200 damage. Do you have damage. Protect from Mage? I do not. I feel like, I mean, one auto can hit you easily for like 600, which is going to be basically like 100% worth of a trend. There we go, I got it. I don't think my spirit wolf helped me much. You summoned the spirit wolf, the tech? This is so bad. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's like, hot. Yeah, you want, I'll show you how it's going. Dang, why are all your gnomes AFK too? <laughs> I'm resting to get my health back, and then I just attack when I'm full. Let's oh go. my god! <laughs> <laughs> After we all got the levels from Monkey Madness, we were rank 1 on the 4-player competitive group high scores. So we were able to screen capture that. 
with Monkey Madness done, I'll call this an episode. See you next time for more Blizzard Buddy progress.